there, there's been a flurry of, of mainstream media reports um, recently, which um, th th make like pretty astonishing um, uh, admissions about the level of British involvement in um, the proxy war. Uh, th this has been reported in the Times. Alex has just brought up um, the article in question. Ukraine is invading with British tanks. What does it mean for us? There is a uh, report in uh, Slidstvo Info um, th uh, on the invasion of Krinky, this beachhead in occupied Russian territory that Ukraine spent many months um, attempting to infiltrate and then now in Ukrainska Pravda, which is a pro-government uh, media outlet, of course, no non-pro-government outlet um, can exist in Ukraine right now. Um, th yeah, like th th they've documented in, in some forensic detail um, in an article spanning about 7,000 words, the failure of Krinky where Ukraine fed wave after wave of poorly trained, ill-equipped Marines into a firing zone without sufficient support for them and without any prospect of the operation succeeding. They were meant to push on to Crimea from here, um, quite amazingly. Um, and uh, yeah, um, the, all we have to show for it are first-hand accounts from the very few people who survived who testified to the fact that this was a suicide mission they were thrown into a fire bag that's the uh the technical term where they were under relentless fire from all angles um and were dropped off by boat while being fired upon relentlessly in the boat um yeah um this was a absolute cataclysm and this ukrainska pravda article acknowledges for the very first time that it was a british operation they have extensive receipts on how the british government planned this and uh pushed for this and trained and armed the ukrainian marines involved in it um as i personally at the gray zone have reported um britain has all sorts of insane escalatory plans for the proxy war most of which are maritime in nature um this was a very clear example of a british operation um which failed a la kursk which as alex and i have discussed on the show before was a british in operation it was an invasion of russia which was intended to normalize British over involvement in the proxy war in the hope that other countries would follow. And that didn't happen. So, um, yeah, we have this crazy situation now where Britain, having tried to um, get Kamala Harris elected in order to keep the Ukraine proxy war running, they lost on the first count and now they're on the verge of losing on the second count. Um, and in this context, British assets like Sebastian Gorka become very interesting because they are desperate to keep this going against all odds despite the fact that it's a failure despite the fact that all of ukraine's biggest military catastrophes have been british planned and executed yeah they want to keep this going so um we must remain vigilant god knows what they could and would do uh in order to keep this going at the same time um they're out of favor in halls of power in the us Hey everyone, um, if you enjoyed this video or, or any of our other content, uh, please give us a follow on Twitter or subscribe to us on YouTube. It will help us beat the algorithm oligarchs. Thank you.